Brooklyn Joss here. I haven't paid for a haircut in over 10 years. Now, a sarcastic person might say, and it shows. But I think that over the course of, of years, I've learned how to cut my hair pretty well. I even learned how to do different styles, learned how to do the back, learned how to do all kinds of stuff. So my wife says she gets, she's amazed by seeing me cut my hair. So I, I, I always said, oh, I'm going to do a video. So today I'm, I'm doing a touch up today, really. Uh, the majority of it I already did because you can see my hair is kind of short. Um, but you'll get the, the, the general premise, the basic principles of how to cut your own hair for what I'm going to do today. Um, so I have to say, this is pretty necessary if you want to do the back of your hair correctly. I don't need this to do the back of my hair. It's just some mirror. It's a fold. Let me see. Uh, it's a fold out. It's a fold out mirror. See, it's a fold, so it comes in three pieces. I, I don't really need that to do my hair, but to do the back I do. So I got it out because I want to do I want to do the back of my hair a little bit. I want to touch it up. Um, and so you need, I use that. And I use the, the Remington. This is the uh, indestructible. This is, I've been using the same clippers for 10 years. These are, it's called the indestructible clippers i've been using them for 10 years same one i haven't i bought another pair in case these broke but they, they haven't broke they're indestructible and they come with pieces one through four so um i actually bought five through eight right there and they fit uh i don't remember if if i just bought random ones and they, they just happen to fit if it's universal that i don't remember so that's it um, what am I going to do? So my, my new style is, and my hair's, I, 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 I cut my hair before my shower, obviously. So my hair's a little, uh, bushy, but usually after the, after a shower and in the morning, it lays flatter. Um, so you're not really, you know, maybe in, and if I do a video in the morning. So right now my style is, um, the top of my hair in the front letting it grow and um, and basically a, a fade and a fade in the back. I guess that's it, right? Um, but before I used to do, I used to just use a number four in the top, military cut, and that was it. So that's the simplest way to do it. And obviously if you get the, the five through eight, then you could do, you could leave it a little higher on the top. Um, an eight. This is not an eight. You can't touch this with an eight. Anyway, you'll see. Let me just let me let me do the haircut, uh, the touch up, whatever you want to call it. And let me see. All right. Uh, so this is this is the five. So I am I'm one, two, three, four, and then in the back. So I'm just gonna, I'm just, I'm just gonna be switching. You'll see after after a while of doing this, you just you just switch pretty. I don't know if it's quick or not. I never video, I never watched myself, I never videotaped myself. But my wife said that she was pretty amazed. Anyway, so God bless my wife. All right, this is the five. All right, so I can see the back. Okay. And then, you know, when I'm unsure if, uh, I'll go over, I'm going to go straight to the eight and then work my way down. Now the eight I'm using in the back, basically. There we go. That I do use in the back. And I can see from the last time I cut my hair, that, and I have a I have a severe severe cowlick in the back. It it looks like a, one of those uh, weather cyclone storms swirls. Severe cowlick. 
and I'm starting to bald right there at the cowlick. So, but the eight kind of hides the balding a little bit, you know. And that's what I'm doing in the back, and it's coming out, it's going out nice, sweet. Okay. All right. Now I also use the eight. Now I'm trying. Remember, I'm trying to grow grow this out a little bit more, a little bit longer, so there's a kind of that swoosh swoosh kind of look on both sides. I don't know. I haven't had that haircut since I was. I could show you the picture. I was 17, 16, 17 years old. Um, but but after that, I always cut it short because that was the style in the 80s was short hair and the 90s. And then I just kept it short ever since then. So this is the first time I'm letting it grow out a little bit. Okay, so the eight is the longest adapter I have. And it works okay for taking off a little bit. I know how to do it already. Right, and then you, that's fine. Okay, so that's the, right, and you know what? Let me just make sure. I don't wanna have to keep going back to the eight. Yeah, you can, you can hear it. And that's how you know when you're done with, with, an, with, a, with a clip with an extension is that you don't hear it grabbing the hair anymore. All right, so that's the eight. Let's drop it down to a seven. Okay, you can hear it's grabbing. And this is just for the back. Remember, I don't I really don't want to take off any of the hair in in the front. I mean it's, it's at the it's at the length I'm okay with right now. We'll see how it when it grows out a little bit more. Okay. Right? Because you have to let it keep growing if you want it to grow over. So I guess I don't anyway, so that's that. But when I when I come when I put I could even show at the end, I'll, I'll put, because I'm going to take a shower, so I will put a little gel in at the end, and you can see how it, the gel will blend it together for this specific style. All right, that's the seven. Now, I can see there's a couple places where it's not blended totally. The back, the back is almost perfect. I got to be honest. Maybe the bottom of the back, I could hit with, uh, with a two, but I'll hit it with the three first. So just in case, so I, I'll know. Yeah, you see the three's grabbing a little bit. Right, and that's what you want. You want it to grab just a little bit because that's how you know you're, you're, you're blending. And then I'll, I'll give, a, at the end I'll give a, a close up of the, and you can let me know if you think my fade sucks or not. But I don't care, I'm cool, I'm cool with it. I mean, I can't even, I mean, obviously the thousands, the, the money's not all of it. Saving the money is part of it. Yo, it's the time, the time, the going there and sit, oh my God, sitting, sitting in those barber shops for hours. Some, I remember hours, I used to go, I used to go clubbing in, in New York, right? I know I don't look like the type, but I did. Palladium. Uh, Studio 54, 1018s, Limelight. Oh, man. My favorite was uh, Palladium. That was the bomb. Was that 47th Street, I think? I used to go there all the time. Okay. All right, so it did It did take off a little bit, a little extra. So it, and this is, and you clean it up, you know? All right, so let's see. I'm on the two already. Yeah, you see, I'm not grabbing much. I might have to. Like I said, every this is just a touch up. Let me hit it with the three before I go to the one. And when you're not grabbing, you go slow and you push harder, and that'll help with the blend. Okay, all right, let's go to, now the back, I heard I heard it was taking some off in the back, and that was on the three, 
So I don't want to hit up with a four. Let's go to a five. Okay. See, I heard I heard it hitting on the three, and I can see the back. Uh huh. Right. Okay. I see what's going on over there. All right. Let's go. That was a five. Let's take it to a six. All right, because I can see a little bit of a lump of hair there. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right, it's grabbing. It's grabbed, grabbed a little too much for my liking. Let me hit it with the eight. Because that's what I've been doing the back with is the eight. See, and I wasn't, this was a spot that I, I couldn't see it really. Ah, uh, okay. Right, because plus the mirror is far away, you know, so it's, it's really hard to see. Oh, okay, all right. I got gotcha. you. All right, uh, perfect. But there was a little, ah, uh, nice, nice, I got you. I got you, okay. I'll try to keep this video as kid friendly as I can. Cases, in my opinion, if you cut your own hair, you can cut anybody's hair. This has gotta be much harder than cutting someone else's hair. So I guess if you're a kid, right, you're gonna, Hey, look at Brooklyn Jess. He's cutting his own hair and you start cutting your hair. Psh. Yo, if I knew how to cut hair when I was a teenager, I would have made mad cheese. I used to pay my friends, and this was back in the early 80s, you know, five bucks was cheap, man. And you, had, you know, you gave him five bucks. You didn't give him a tip. It was five bucks. And you went to his, I went to my boy's house and to his basement. And he cut, he had people. You know what that was in the 80s? Five bucks a pop for 20 minutes? Making ten, fifteen dollars an hour chilling at your house. Oh, that was that was huge. That was huge, man. That was huge. Like I said, I'll keep this. I'll try to keep this <laughs> kid friendly. In case there's a mom out there who's like, "Hey, Junior, come look at Brooklyn just cut his hair." Don't let him watch the other video. I curse. I drove a taxi for three and a half years and I don't know. I always say that's my taxi mouth, my Brooklyn taxi mouth. Shout out, shout out to yours car service in uh, Bay Ridge, Brooklyn. Okay, so right here, right? This is the harp, right? You have to have the line, right? So that's my line. So I'm fit, if I, if I, I have to fade high up on the line, for this, for this style, I have to fade high up on the line so the hair doesn't look like a mushroom, right? It has to be very thin underneath it. So um, if you want to see the, the look, the, 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 the style I'm going for, there's a new movie with Leonardo, Leonardo DiCaprio and um, Robert De Niro. And uh, so this is, he has super fine hair. I'm jealous. I have very full hair, so I guess... Some people wish they had full hair. Um, I wish I had thinner, not thinner, balding, thinner, that hair that just kind of, I don't have that hair, but I'm still going for the style. Anyway, blah, blah, blah. I talk too much. Okay, am I done? All right, so I'm going to do the where's, the, where's the two? And then I'll do the one. So I'm still on the two. Okay, this is the two. Okay, so this is the two. And this is what I'm gonna very quickly give. I'm gonna try to do the um, the fade up here on with the two. Okay. Okay. So that's that. That's pretty good. Now I'll do the one very quickly. Here's my one. Just to um, finish off the fade. And I'll do up in that little temple part. So yeah, you have to hold you have to hold it sideways to get the uh, to do the line. Okay, and then let me see. Can I I could do a little bit a little bit on the back, the very very bottom. And then you go slow. When you after you take off the amount you want, you go slow. Okay, and that's how you, you, you do the last finishing of the blending. 
I could even do a little bit more of the line in the back. Okay, I saw like there were a few hairs out of the way. Little spot right there. Okay. Let me put the one back on. I do my eyebrows with the one. So just so I could finish this up. All right, last checks. Okay, I see a little bit of a little blending issue there. That's the two. Right, uh huh. That's the two. Nice. And you need a lot of light to do it correctly, also. All right, so that's the two. That looks good. Let's hit it with the three, and I should be done. On the left side, I'm saying, because that's I didn't do the left side before. You hear it? All right, now you don't want to go too far back because the back I'm doing a four. Okay, so I'll just grab the four. I'll go to my left hand. It's not grabbing, see? And that's what you want. You don't want it to grab. When you know you're, that's how you know you're done when it's not grabbing. All right, that's it. And then I'll, I'll put the gel on. So here, let's let's look at the let's look at it really quickly. 